Hello and welcome to Art and Animation's Introduction to Adobe Animate. In this tutorial we are going to see how to use the Bone tool in animation. You can see that we are going to use this on a character. The Bone tool is actually not very convenient while working on complex character animations. We are going to try and demonstrate this here. It's most likely that we might not use this tool in our character animation courses. Let's get started. We've got a character in Vector here. We're going to animate the character waving his hand using the Bone tool. We now double click to enter the character symbol. As you can see, we already have our character vectored and rigged for this animation. Creating vector-based characters and rigging them will be covered in our character animation courses, which are to follow after this introductory course. We'll now select the symbol of the left arm of our character and double click to enter it. We have three layers here, hand, forearm and upper arm. Let's zoom in and select the bone tool by pressing M on the keyboard, which is the shortcut for the bone tool. You can also select it from the toolbar, please see the video to locate it. By using the bone tool we're now going to connect our three layers to animate them. Let's click on the upper arm using the bone tool and drag it to the joint of the elbow, as seen in the video. We can see a small circle and a line appear after we click and drag here. This is our bone. We do the same from forearm to the hand as seen in the video again. After it's done, our three symbols of the hand are connected and if you look at the layer tab, you'll notice that all our symbols are now on a new layer named armature. Also, if you look at the timeline, you'll notice that a tween is already applied. We select the tween and drag it closer to the layer tab to make our time frame smaller. We remove unnecessary frames using Shift F5. We now use the selection tool to move our hand which we connected using the bone tool. You'll notice that while we're moving only our hand symbol, the forearm and the upper arm symbols also move like a real hand. We're now moving our hand on the 10th frame as seen in the video. If we move our timeline slider, you can see that the hand is moving as if the character is waving his hands. We'll now select the first keyframe and by holding down the ALT key, we copy the first keyframe to the last frame as seen in the video. This will play our animation in a loop. There are certain properties of the bone tool that we can tweak and experiment on. There are rotation angles that we can adjust to define how much a symbol should rotate. You can play with these features in the Properties tab to get to know more of the tool. Now let's exit the symbol by clicking on the Scene 1 tab. We can press the Enter key to see what our hand animation looks like. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.